is kind of something you have to do if you want to buy this light. I ran the LHP uh, 531 on turbo, full turbo, uh, for 45 to 50 seconds to measure the range, and I just all of a sudden felt the 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 flashlight jolt like a big jolt and it gave me a big fright thinking that the batteries were unstable or something and they were going to explode uh, i really got a bit of a scare from it but the, what happened was these springs all of a sudden just collapsed they overheated and they just uh, compressed uh, and so yeah convoy um, is just using single springs uh, and with a light that's drawing over 100 amps, a single spring is just nowhere near enough. Uh, and so it's just like they're overheating, too much resistance. And so I've gone ahead and installed a spring wire bypass. And so that allows a lot more current to be able to flow. So you just get a small bit of wire that's uh, about 20 to or 18 to 20 gauge wire. And you just solder it to the the base and the top of each spring. Uh, if you've got very little soldering skill and you don't really know how to do this or want to do this, and then another thing you can do is just loosen off the retaining rings around each spring uh, and then get a second smaller uh, spring and insert it inside them and then tighten back down the retaining rings and it's as simple as that. I'll put a link in the description for the correct springs from the Convoy store. Uh, but it's, that's a very easy uh, change to make. So by carrying out this modification in the LHP 531 uh, emitter option, I uh, saw an increase from 24,000 lumens up to 29,000 lumens. Uh, the SFT40 version just jumped about 1,000 lumens. Uh, but yeah, you're still getting a bit of an increase there. Uh, the... Uh, from there, uh, there's another modification, another issue that I found, uh, and that is the screws. So you've got, on this this model, you've got the emitters uh, soldered onto the circuit board of the MCPCB, uh, uh, and uh, there's no screws uh, applying pressure uh, onto the MCPCB against the shelf inside. And so... For this design, those screws that are passing through inside here uh, are meant to pull the reflector down onto the MCPCB to apply that pressure. And those screws there, you see those white spaces there, those are mine, I 3D printed those. Uh, but this, the screws are two millimeters too long. And so there's no pressure being applied by that reflector down onto that um, that MCPCB, uh, and so those emitters aren't able to cool down properly. They're not able to transfer the heat into the rest of the flashlight to be able to get rid of the heat, uh, and so that's so that's causing the uh, emitters to get too hot. Some people on Reddit uh, showed me photos of the emitters that had desoldered them desoldered themselves, uh, and they would no longer work because uh, the emitters were just getting far far too hot. And so by 3D printing that little spacer there, uh, those two in there, uh, it's all tightened up, uh, it pulls down onto the, the reflector pulls down and applies the pressure, uh, and it tightens it all up. Uh, that's how it was intended to be, uh, but yeah, just because of the, the screw issue. Uh, so by doing that, it increased from 29,000 lumens up to... The highest I've been able to achieve is 31,700 lumens. So you got a bit of an increase there uh, because the emitters were getting too hot and so they were reducing an output because of the heat. Uh, and so yeah, these are all very worthwhile modifications. I just hope that Convoy does this uh, uh, from the factory so in the future so nobody has to do it. But there's a lot of these units out there that uh, need these mods done. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, you could use uh, little washers um, or just get some cutters out and cut the screws down one to two mil. Uh, so, yeah, so to do it, yeah, you just remove three screws from the back by unscrewing, unscrewing that, getting that out. Uh, and another uh, issue that you'll run into, and it's on all of the 3X21 series, uh, is that the 
the cell or battery slots are really sharp and they actually end up cutting into your wrappers. Uh, and so you can see, you can see there, it's actually cut uh, through the wrapper. And I've got, heat, I've got uh, six of these cells that I used uh, for my testing and they've all got cuts on them. So I've, I've had to sand down uh, the, the, the cell slots or the battery slots uh, just yeah, just far too far too sharp. Uh, I've talked to Simon about it, and he said that he'll uh, improve that in the next batch. Uh, but yeah, it's just uh, another thing that I found, and I throw up a photo of it is uh, just the soldering job on the uh, MCPCB inside. The wires were not soldered on properly. It looked like they used an iron, a soldering iron that was not hot enough. So the solder joints are not uh, very good. It's very well done. So I had to clean all them up. And there was like flux residue splashes all over it and all over the uh, emitters or LEDs. And I had to clean it all off with isopropyl alcohol. And so, um, you know, these are high quality uh, flashlights.